Hello, Leo. <laughs> How you doing, Leo? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. How you feeling? How you doing, baby? I hope everyone is doing fine. Happy Monday, mental health check day. How you doing? How you feeling mentally? Okay. Yeah. Hope y'all had a very, very beautiful uh, weekend. I hope y'all had a very relaxing weekend. If you didn't, I need you to go in meditation and release a lot of that negative energy, okay? But I love you guys. But if a lot of you didn't know if you were sleeping up under a rock, I'm a Virgo, okay? I am celebrating my birthday for the whole month of Virgo season. My birthday was September the 5th. And this was my weekend to just get it in, baby, okay? So, so yeah, yeah, to all my cross watchers uh, that's watching this, Leo reading happy birthday to the Virgos. But, uh, Leo, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's, let's get into it. Okay, Leo. All right. <laughs> I love you too, sweetheart, sir. It is early in the morning when I'm uh, recording this video, so y'all got to bear with me. I had to put my glasses on because I couldn't derm. Uh, my eyes wouldn't let me uh, see the cars right, okay? But I'm going to pull an angel number for you. Leo, I'm going to pull an angel number for you, sweetheart, sir, okay? Let's see what the angels got to say about you. All right, spirit guys, God, give me clarity, understand it. This is for my Leos, what's in the energy? I've already pre-shuffled the cards, my love. Hello, new viewers, cross watchers, come on in, take what resonates, reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, listen. I don't know y'all's life. You're going to have to reverse the roles. I'm just tapping into your life. And also, don't forget to like and share so that my videos can circulate throughout YouTube, okay? So please, let your fingers do the walking and push that like, okay, and share. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Let's get into it. Let's get it, okay? Talk to me, Spirit. What's the angel number for Leo? What is it that Leo need to know today? Angel got a lot of message. A whole half of the deck come off, darling. Angel, what y'all? I mean, uh, uh, uh Leo's. What y'all been doing? Two, 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 baby, just popped out. I'm gonna give also y'all a chance if you want to screen shoot this card. I'm gonna hold it up here for a couple seconds. So go ahead and screen shoot it when I put it up here. It's all about your two, two, two. Okay. Yeah, it's all about two, two, two. Is your number? And it's a uh, um. Positive, persistent, optimism, and upward. The thoughts you have just planted are beginning to grow and take shape. So whatever your thoughts you've been planting, it's beginning to grow. Okay? And take shape. It's molding. It's getting ready to flourish, Leo. Keep watering and nourishing them. And soon they will break through the ground. And soon it will break through the ground. Don't give up in the first five minutes of your miracle. Just because you don't see it growing doesn't mean that it's not growing. It's what spirit guides, God, your angels, whoever your higher source is. Your achievements will become increasingly obvious to you. You're going to start to see changes. You're going to be like, wow, you know, things are changing. It's going to become obvious to you that your very thing that you're planted, very thing that you, 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 you plant, you, 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 it's going to be obvious that you're seeing it come. You're actually seeing it grow. Okay. So keep up the good work. Your angels are saying, keep up the good work, Leo, keep positive thinking, stay affirming and keep visualizing. Okay. So there you are. Two, two, two. I'm gonna hold that card up for a second. So, yeah, keep up the good work, baby. That very thing that you planted, you, it's going to be obvious. You're going to start, you know, just because you don't see it growing doesn't mean it's not growing. Keep watering and keep, you know, keep doing what you're supposed to do. Let's get another card for you, Leo. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Talk to me for Leo. Thank you. 11.55 is your other card. Other angel number, 1155 is here. Okay. Change, confidence, and clarity. You're gaining your clarity right now. There's a change coming. Okay. Self, self-infection, self-reflection. I'm sorry. Self-reflection. I've been trying to read these, 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 how they got it, the, the font of these cards. 
And sometimes I can't even understand what this font is saying. So I have to really kind of, that's why you hear me hesitating. Because I'm trying to read the font. They got it in this fancy writing, okay? So it says, your thoughts create changes in your life. Keep directing your thoughts towards what you want, okay? If you see that the coming change is not what you want, you can stop or change it by correcting your thoughts. Did you know that? Did you know that we the power is within ourselves? Do you not know it's so much power here? And that's where the government, that's where a, a lot of the low vibration don't want us to, uh, don't want us to realize that if the power is in our self, you can change your direction by your thoughts. If this is not where you want, you can reprogram your mind and you can bring yourself out of what you don't want into what you want. You got that power, but a lot of people don't believe in themselves. You have to believe in yourself. 1155. 1155. Okay. So not only positive thinking, your thoughts, you know, the seed that you're planting Okay, the seed that you planted, and it may seem like, you know, because you don't see it growing from uh, uh, from below, doesn't mean that it's not growing. Uh, just keep keep um, nourishing it, and it's going to grow. And if you're if you feel like it's something that you don't want, that's been in your thoughts, you don't want, just change it. Just change your thoughts. Just change your thoughts. Let's get another card. I love you guys. Let's get another card for you, Leo. One more spirit. Thank you. 8899 is your angel number. 8899. 8899. New beginnings. Okay. That very thing, that the seed you've been sowing, that th the seed that you've been nourishing and trying to bring to life, it's been getting ready to start a new beginning in your life. Change in confident power, yearning for beauty and attention. Some important stages in your life are about to come to an end. Okay? And we have to realize it, whether it's good or whether it's bad, things has to come to an end. That's, there's an expiration date on everything. Okay? And it says... And other events that follow will also end like a domino effect. It's almost like when one thing ends, the rest, it, everything else got to go. Okay? Everything else got to go. Okay? The secrets of this number represents that you are experiencing a series of events in which many parts of your life will slow down and are about to stop. Okay? However, this is no need to worry, is what angels are saying. This is no need to worry, Leo. Okay? Because these changes are necessary for you. It, it's very necessary because angels want you to grow. God wants you to grow. God don't want you to stay, plant. even flowers grow. They don't want you to, they, you know, things from the earth grows. You can't just stay stagnant. You Even, even when you water in a, even when you're taking care of a plant and that plant outgrows that very thing you planted it in, that pot. It outgrows and you got to change it over to a bigger pot. You know what I'm saying? So everything has to change. You have to, everything has to be moved up or, you know, expansion in your life. Okay. <clears throat> but there's no need to worry because these changes are necessary for you so that a new series of things and situations can begin. You can screenshot this and you can read that for yourself. My beautiful, beautiful Leo's okay you got it all right sweetheart sir okay let's see what's at the bottom of your deck the bottom of your deck let's see let's get another one <clears throat> spirit guys give me one more card I need one more card for Leo's one more card Ooh. one more card for Leo's just need one spirit thank you okay so, Leo, your card is 5577. 5577, Leo, is your card, okay? 
And this is talking about wishes coming true. Okay. Keep moving forward. Abundance and happiness, spiritual awakening. And I'll give y'all enough time to screenshot that card as well. I told y'all it's early in the morning, honey. Uh, yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't y'all judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Okay. This is to confirm that upcoming changes are about to make. Uh, uh, let me see. This is to confirm that the up changes you are about to make are right on target. So whatever changes, whatever it is that you uh, have um, getting ready to do, you on point is what Angel's saying. You on point. Okay. And it says, you are right on target, bringing abundance in your body, emotions, and mind. Keep going in this direction. And you will soon see some signs of how these changes and more rich and richness to your life and the lives of others around you. So spirit guides, God say, get ready. Get ready because the very changes that you've been wanting to make, you on target. Do that. Okay? That's the bottom of your deck. Do Make those changes. Uh, whatever it is that you, I don't care. Spirit guys just told me smoking. Some of you smoking, some of you drinking. Okay. If you, if that's what you ready to stop doing, whatever, whatever it is, everybody has their own destination. Everybody's on different timelines. Okay. Some people already done done that and you, it, things are happening. So everybody is on their own different time zone. Okay. Time, timeline. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you definitely keep up the good work. Keep, keep watering what this is that you are, that you are trying to grow in your life, that you want to change, that you're trying to change in your life. And just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not coming. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's not growing. It is, uh, but you got to realize that once, once you stop, once things, once something is being done, it's going to be like a domino effect. Once you stop doing something, other things going to start falling off too, okay? So let's see what this is that um, that you are trying to grow. What is it that you're trying to let go of? What is it that you are uh, you are definitely on target about? Spirit guys, talk to me. Let's see, Leo, my beautiful Leo. Spirit guys, tell me more for Leo. Let's see what this is, okay? Oh, okay. So what this is, is the first card came out as puzzled, confused, perplexed, or conflicted. So you're definitely in the energy of, of, of being confused about what it is that you're ready to change. You're ready to do something different. Some of you, you're trying to plant new soil, or some of you trying to grow something, nourish something, but you're almost like you're just kind of confused about it. And it ha could have a lot to do with being stable, okay? You're stable, being stable, settled, secure, well. So it could be something that you're confused. Maybe you want to change a job. Uh, you weren't ready to go towards something more stable. Uh, you trying your focus, you're confused about, um, uh, maybe you're in a situation where somebody don't want to be stable and you ready to, you ready to let it go. Uh, this can be a lot that some of you are confused about. Okay. Spirit guys, tell me more. Tell me more for Leo. You're definitely in the energy about confused. You're puzzled about what it is that you want to accomplish. Yeah. You're very stressed out and worried. It's something that you really want to do, but remember that some things has to go. So you got tension. Some of you are very confused. You're very worried. Migraines, having headaches about making this decision. Okay. But you got to keep moving forward. If you want abundance in your life, I feel like clarity. A lot of you can't is coming into clarity, realizing that if I don't change my situation, that things are not going to grow in my life. And that is exactly how it is. You can't stay stuck. You have to, you know, you can stay stuck, but you're not going to get any, you're not going to get any, um, you're not going to be doing better in your life. You're, gonna, you're just going to be stagnant. Okay. You're going to be stagnant. Also, I feel like a lot of you need to learn how to set boundaries or a lot of you are learning how to set boundaries and drawing the line and, and uh, starting to defend yourself when it comes down to your life. Okay. Some of you could be suffering in silence. All right. Suffering in silence, trying to figure out which way you want to go, what you want to do, what to let, uh, let go and what not to let go. Okay. Some of you could be suffering in silence going through a lot. Okay. Uh, you're in your feelings. It's like, you know, you're confused, but you got to set boundaries and live in the moment, setting boundaries and living in the moment. Okay. 
Start start living life. Start living in the moment, okay? You got to release some of these things that needs to go. It needs to go. It's time to grow, okay? Whatever you've been thinking about doing, whatever you're trying to plant your feet towards, uh, it definitely needs to be done. Your thoughts create your life. You got to remember what you think, what you speak, what you think, it becomes reality. OK, so you a lot of you in the, in the in the energy of confused, perplexed or conflicted with where you want to go. OK, and you're stressing yourself out. OK, and um, you're suffering in silence, but you got to come to some type of common grounds of I uh, feel like you get ready to get a you about to get clarity. A change is coming. OK. All right. A change is coming, but uh, you got to believe it. Everything that you want to change you got to believe that you can change it. You got to believe that you can do it. You got to believe in yourself. That's where it starts out at, Leo. No matter what this is, okay? Um, no matter what you're trying to accomplish. If you want a car, if you want a house, if you want to stop smoking, if you want to stop drinking, whatever it is that you want to stop and you want to start creating new soil, then you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that your mind controls your reality. Your thoughts control your reality. When you speak negative, guess what? Negative things keep happening. When you change your perspective of how you see your life, that's when things start to unfold in the way that you're thinking. Mind is a very powerful thing. The words that you speak is very powerful as well. But you have to believe and not con contradict the very thing that you're trying to plant and grow. Just because you don't see it growing doesn't mean that it's not happening. But the thing about it, you just got to keep nourishing, keep watering it, keep watering your mind, keep nourishing your mind, keep nourishing your mind, body and your soul. So that when you begin to, it's going to become very obvious that things are changing around you. But remember, when things change, when things fall off, it's going to be maybe some more things going to fall right behind it. It's going to become a domino's effect. So therefore, look out for it because you stop smoking. Guess what? God, you might stop drinking too. If you stop doing this, guess what? You might stop doing that too. So it may be a domino's effect that's going to happen within your life as well. Okay. Whatever it is, whatever it is. Okay. So let's see. Let's get let's get back into it. Let's see what's in your reading. Keep moving forward towards your happiness and abundance. <clears throat> a lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening. And it is. Spiritual awakenings are... A lot of you are really... Some of you have been through the dark night of the soul. You've been suffering in silence. been trying to get it together. You've been having headaches, migraine. You're going through a spiritual awakening. And it's time for you to live in the moment today. It's time for you to live in. I'm talking to somebody that's birth that that may have um, Virgo heart heavy in their chart somewhere because this is a birthday cake. So you could have Virgo heavy in your chart. Yeah, it's time to come out of the tech toxicity. Remember when you're dealing with someone toxic, or if you've been in that used to being in that toxic environment. Guess what? When you begin to release or begin to get yourself out of this toxic environment, then a lot gonna come behind it. Now if this is you in your own mental self because as you see these to standing here this chain is enough a rope right here for this person to pull it over top of their head that means that some of you are mentally stuck in your toxic ways in your own ment mentality thoughts that means there's a lot of things holding you back mentally you have your own self mentally entrapped with toxic idea toxic things toxic situations that you have to get yourself out of and that's causing you not to be stable minded thinking clear, okay, getting what you want, becoming stable because you are really in your own way. You're in your own way, okay? You're in your own way. So spirit guys, tell me more. You're in your own way, Leo. Some of you. Yeah, you're in your own way to the Ace of Pentacles. So when you release yourself, and some of you have, when you release yourself from your own mental thought or this toxicity, that's when you walk through this gate right here. When you walk through this gate, this is God, the spirit, your angels. This is spirit, guys. God has got a large blessing waiting on you. But you got to get out of your mental thoughtness of, of toxicity, of thinking, used to thinking of 
same old toxic ways or being with somebody that's in your energy could be a baby daddy baby mama however it go that's very toxic that's very mental abuse so getting yourself away from this and walking through this gate here to get your blessing somebody uh is not stable mentally you got a lot you could be in the energy of somebody that is not stable okay and you're confused, conflicted, perplexed. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, it's a lot of drama, a lot of fighting going on, okay? And it's time to remove yourself from this. It's a lot of argument. It's always something. Yeah, this is definitely not your wish fulfillment. This is definitely a lover. Uh, some of you, like I say, everybody on different timelines. You, you realize that you cutting the BS out. The moon card is in the reverse, okay? The moon card is in the reverse. You realize this, and you are definitely tired of the bs you're tired of it you're tired you're ready for a change you are ready for a change and i'm ready for you to be in that change you know you're focusing on your work your job okay yeah some of you ended okay you ended this some of you are not the same person you used to be okay this person you was dealing with was very mean very mean person uh you could have been dealing with a narcissist very mean you a high priestess i'm talking to you have the ability, you're a high priestess, you have a, the ability to change any situation in your life. You just got to trust yourself. That's all you got to do is trust yourself. Tell me more, spirit. Trust yourself. Yep. It's time to release this burden and stress. It's up to you. You want to keep watering your plant and change and leave things in the past and become your bet, better version of yourself and let go of the toxic things that has been in your life or people in your life and go towards your happiness. That's a choice. That's a choice you got to make, my beautiful Leos. I'm Positive Thoughts and Energy, my beautiful souls. In my readings, there are lessons, blessings, and confirmations. You just got to be vigilant and listen to the message. Until next time, Leo.